I'm Indy Nidell. I'm Spartacus Olson. I'm Astra Dinehart behind the camera. And I'm James Newman. And this is a Time Ghost public service announcement. So it's been uh, almost two months since we released D-Day uh, and uh, finished doing that, and that was an amazing adventure. And I think oh the boy. first, yeah, I mean the first thing I I think we need to say is a deep and heartfelt thanks to the Time Ghost Army for making it possible. You were yeah. amazing. We worked for over a year getting it together. Uh, that's the biggest. Dumbest project I've ever done in my life. And the next time one of us says, hey, let's do a 24-hour real-time thing that comes out in one day in 24 hours, and let's, you know, do it on top of our regular whatever 50 hours of programming a week, that, uh, a year that comes out, I'm going to say no. <laughs> so. But it was worth it. It was largely worth it thanks to your participation. You see, for those of you who didn't catch that, just a few weeks before D-Day was coming out, we had the last possible sponsor jump, jump off uh, the ship and because it's too complicated for them to understand. And it's just, it was you can't too complicated. sponsor hour number six because now they want to sponsor yeah, it's, hour it's number just, one or no number. And yeah, and it so. just got too complex. <laughs> and, and, and also the demands on how we would have to change the programs were too big. We were not willing to do that. And thanks to Ian, we went out with a ask to all of you to uh, really take us over the finish line and become part of the project. And your response was amazing. Yeah, we, it, we finished the project. We did. <laughs> that, that's, if we didn't do that, then then it would have been all your fault. <laughs> yeah, have, no! People said, why didn't you finish D-Day? Well, it's the time goes to Army's fault, really. Yeah. It's not really our fault that we didn't get it written and shot and edited in time. No, I'm, I'm kidding. It was a huge team effort on our side, and literally everybody at Time Ghost was involved with this. I, I think that it's really worthwhile to point out that we're missing one of the key players here, which is Irina, Irina Dulka, who is one of our lead editors, but also co-directed the series. She co-directed the whole uh, post-production and tied that together. Yeah. And at her side, she had Simon James, um, she, she, had, she had Jacob, and she had uh, Jake and a couple of other editors. But it was really Simon and Irina who pulled the heavy, heavy load when it came to the editing. Had a lot of problems with getting our maps ready. We underestimated the effort to to have that done and needed to put more effort to it. And the Time Ghost Army was really, you know, very important in enabling us to, for instance, finish the maps, because we needed to put extra resources to that. So uh, my brother, insert photo, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, insert photo of him as a kid, too. <laughs> yeah, there he is. There he is. That's the guy. He, this Sorry, is the, Andreas. But this guy, this is the guy who liked Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy so much that when he was like 14 years old, he went to school wearing his bathrobe and slippers because he was Arthur Dent, basically. That is true. That is my brother. Uh, him and, and Daniel Weiss, who does our maps regularly, they worked around the clock to, to do it. And S Simon, uh, Simon and, and Irina and myself were involved in it as well. But before all of that happened, we were really spending literally months and months of research and writing to get this together. Mm -hmm. and that's, for instance, where James comes into the story. This was your first big project. It was, us, yeah, it? yeah. I was working on the uh, resistance, civilian stuff, the uh, the bombing of uh, French towns and cities and German coastal defenses. But I really enjoyed it. It was a uh, yeah, like you say, it was a push at times, oh, but um, <laughs> it, was, it was great fun. I mean, <laughs> it's the sort of thing where you look back on it and, you know, when it got published and, and, and you look back on it, it's like, wow, we did that. Yeah. And, but I mean, remember <laughs> in, in late January um, when we were had the writing workshop in Outback and the moments of sheer panic <laughs> in writing, which, but, which was only cleared up when we realized that we were going to have to tackle it, that each hour was going to be like, like how we construct a week of mm -hmm. the regular World War II yeah. series yeah. instead of... <laughs> All the action of, of, of once along the whole thing for, you know, minute by minute by minute to the company level. <laughs> Some of you guys might remember James because he's written a bunch of specials for us mm -hmm. in the past, too. You've done a bunch of Air Force stuff, too. Yes, yeah, yeah. You've yeah. yeah. been uh, with us full time for almost a year now. Yeah, right? it's, it's yeah. 10 months, actually. I was looking back yeah. at it and then part time before that for... I think almost a year part time yeah. before yeah. that as well, yeah. <laughs> but uh, he's here today. Well, Sparty, tell him why. Yeah, I mean, um, our writing team that worked on, on D-Day, I mean, every, all of our writers, Marcus Linke and, and Francis, uh, and of course the three of us, and Astrid, uh, we all pitched in to, to get this done. 
Um, but um, James is also taking on a new role now that we have finished D-Day because uh, Francis is uh, leaving us to go on into academia. So uh, James is taking on a new role now. He is going to uh, take over from Francis and he is going to be our writing coordinator uh, who uh, manages our writing efforts, coordinating all of us. Obviously, everybody still continues their task. I will continue to write all of the regular World War II weekly episodes until the end of time, because that, <laughs> that war's never going to end. So, you know, I'm set. You and know. I will, of course, also continue working on War Against Humanity, as Astrid will continue working on Spies and Ties, uh, which she does already yeah. now, very yeah. much together with James. Yeah. And James, in the last few weeks, have been helping me with the catch-up of War Against Humanity, yeah. as has Francis. So, you know, at the end of the day, I think what's really important to take the takeaway from all of that is that we are a team and it is a team effort to get this show done. You guys are part of that team and and this project D-Day really really showed how much of a community we are that have the same fascination and dedication to history and keeping it alive for the betterment of the future and giving people a chance to know a little bit more about what went wrong well, and what went well. Yeah. So I, once again, I, all I can say is just a heartfelt thanks from, from all of us from, for being part of this, for being our community, the best community in the world, the Time Ghost Army, a force for improvement. Hey guys, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, thanks from me as well. I, I talked to some of you guys in the live chat on the, on the D-Day premiere and uh, yeah, it was great. I mean, it's great to see how, how much everyone supports the channel and uh, supports our work. So. Thank you. And they're gonna, you're gonna see him in future, of course. Yeah. So. Yes. He's gonna be on camera. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yes. Okay, Astrid, say goodbye to the people. Yes, and thank you so much, darlings. Okay, and um, now, I'm. you know what? No, I'm not going to end this. Usually I get to end these because ego and stuff, but we're all gonna end these together. Um, when I go like this, we're going to say our, our, our word. You know what word it is? Well, I think I know what word <laughs> yeah. it is. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Boops. No. <laughs> yeah. Cut that out. Don't worry. So, okay. We're not going to cut that out. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Excelsior! <laughs>